Hi, so this is uh, video number four in the sequence of videos here. And this is gonna focus on how the pupils are actually gonna use the content library in an effort to complete the tasks that you set. Uh, I hope the video is useful. So I'm gonna use uh, my iPad. It's one of the newer ones which is compatible with an Apple Pencil, but you could just as easily use one of the older ones using perhaps a stylus or maybe even your finger. So in the uh, OneNote app that the pupils will use, they'll access uh, the content library, as shown here, uh, and select the work which is required for further manipulation. So here we are in the content library with our worksheet, the Atom CGP workbook, which I uh, uploaded in the previous video. I'm going to click on the icon which uh, uh, says Atom CGP Worksheet at the top there, which is highlighted as a PDF, and you'll notice it generates a number of options here. I'm going to click on Preview, and that will give you the document. Now, if this was more than one page, you'd be able to scroll up and see the various pages, but this is just one. I'm going to share this, and that's using the icon in the top right-hand corner there, which looks like a box with an arrow coming out of it. So I'm going to click on that, and I am going to uh, ask the students to uh, uh, share this in an app called Notability. I click on that and it loads up Notability. Uh, we're creating a new note. Uh, you can see here that it, the note title is Atom CGP Worksheet Sheet, excuse me, and we're gonna import that into uh, Notability. And there we go, that's it done. Now this happens almost instantaneously, and what we can see here in Notability is that already at the top here, that worksheet has been loaded up. Now, uh, using my Apple Pencil, I can answer these questions in here. I can manipulate the, the form so that I can zoom in uh, so that my pencil works a little bit better. So, proton has a relative mass of 1, neutron has a neutral charge, electrons have a mass of about 1 over 2,000. Uh, what name do we give to a group of atoms held together by a covalent bond? That is a molecule or molecules. So, I'm just going to write in my answers there. And I can zoom in, move it around, and manipulate it uh, as, as I need. So uh, with the worksheet finished, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the name of this. Um, because, of course, the pupil, let's assume that it's Dr. Swift that's uh, uh, completing this. So uh, he's going to change it to Swift. And then what he's going to do... He's, he's going to save that uh, to a file that is in his, in his area. So I'm going to save it as a, um, a PDF, and uh, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. I'm going to save it, uh, well, I'm actually going to save it to the desktop on my Mac, which is uh, rather a crazy uh, thought, but I'm going, to, I'm going to keep it there. Fantastic. So uh, with this in mind now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my um, my OneNote. I'm going to go back to Chemistry 101, and in the in John Swift's area, in the Preps area, what's going to happen here? If you remember, we created a worksheet called Atoms CGP, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that PDF uh, which we have here, and in it goes like so, and that is the Prep. It's in there, ready for the teacher to mark in that particular area. So for those pupils who don't have an iPad, uh, we're going to use the old-fashioned method uh, of file print. So in the Chemistry 101 section, within the handouts of the content library, I'm going to click on File. I'm going to select Print. And uh, then I'm going to just print this uh, to my local printer. Now, we need to be mindful of the fact that lots of parents have already uh, contacted colleagues to say about using lots of paper and lots of print cartridges, so we just need to be sensitive to that. So with the task printed off, the pupil can then complete the task, and then using their smartphone, they can use uh, Office Lens in an effort to put this into the prep area of their notebook. So with this in mind, uh, you just need to position the, uh, the, the item within the crosshairs, take a shot. Now, I go through this in more detail in one of the previous videos, so if you haven't had an opportunity to look at that yet, that's a good idea. 
So we we're presented with all sorts of filter options here which we don't need to use. I'm just going to click on done here and save this document as a PDF in my OneDrive area. So with a file now generated and back in our uh, laptop, I'm going to find the area of the OneDrive uh, and I'm going to rechange this name to Atoms CGP Worksheet Smith so I can put it in Eleanor Smith's uh, work area. So I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to load up uh, OneNote, which uh, is still open down here. I'm going to maximize this so we can see a little bit better. And in the prep area here, on the untitled page, I'm going to call this CGP Worksheets. CGP wor oh no, we've got to remember it was called Atoms CGP Worksheets. So we'll just change that to Atoms CGP Worksheet. And then in this area, I'm going to click Insert, File. I'm going to select it as a printout so we can see this more clearly. I'm going to select the, the sheet, which I've renamed Smith. I'm going to choose, and it's going to insert this into my workspace. And that is how we um, generate work, which can then, of course, be marked by the teacher at a later date. I hope this video was useful.